where things stand right now is that most companies are recognizing that they need to reduce their carbon footprint. And so companies are setting goals for that kind of reduction. Where we need to head, however, is that those goals need to be set in order to align with what the science says we need. So in other words, you can't just kind of stick your finger in the wind and say, oh, I think uh, maybe 15% is a good goal. In essence, that's how the goals are being set nowadays in terms of what's achievable given the current business model. Makes sense from a business perspective, but businesses operate in the real world. And in order to have a real world to continue to be able to conduct business, we need all companies setting their goals based on the science. So the new uh, science-based targets project, uh, it's called Mind the Science, Mind the Gap, uh, that's being put forth by CDP, World Resources Institute, WWF, and the UN Global Compact, is a really necessary movement in the field. It's the first time that really major players globally uh, and influential players are putting a stake in the ground and saying that companies really need to measure and manage their carbon footprint based on the carbon budget globally. The, the metrics that these companies are putting out, do they actually hold water? Uh, are they legitimate? And that's the whole idea behind uh, sustainability context. So a context-based approach to sustainability basically says, what are this company's metrics and how do they square with the real world? So if all companies uh, reported their metrics in a context-based way, then they would be fully authentic.